Namaste, Scorpio. The world is right on. Namaste Scorpio. So this is um, next relationship. Okay. Uh, you're the goat. Sun in Scorpio. Cancer rising. Mars in Cancer. Uh, Mars in Scorpio. Scorpio North Node. Like I said, you're the goat. Uh, also Venus Capricorn and um, Leo, Capricorn, and Venus, um, Virgo, Sag, and Mars, Moon, and Libra, okay? This is for you, Jupiter, and Cancer. So this is your next relationship, okay? That's going to be one theme card uh, with that message um, of when. And the second theme card is going to be about this person, certain traits, qualities, the position they hold in society. Okay. And that should be good enough for you guys. Fuck, I didn't even finish cleaning my toes. I just remember I was just cleaning my toes. Just did my nails. Okay, so we got the Seven of Pentacles. This is for when, okay? Okay, this does look like um, sometime during November. Sometime during November, let's see. <laughs> Venus and Capricorn. I don't want the noise on here. Did you eat the other one? And of course, this could also be December, but let's just see. Okay, let's see. This is definitely before Capricorn season. Okay. And you know, um, when uh, this could actually take place whilst you're at work or you're out in the public, okay. This could definitely be November though, like Scorpio season. Okay, this is like, um, yeah, like somebody's at work here. Uh, we got the, the hangman in reverse, we got the eight of cups. Okay. And we got the Knight of Swords. Okay. So this could be whilst commuting to work. Or back from work but this is in the public oh but like Scorpio <laughs> this is your reading okay so I guess like Scorpio season is gonna be good for you I don't know why too I'm getting like an X frequency but this is like somebody you you work with though or who used to work at your workplace okay Yeah, so this could be right after Libra, um, Libra season. So this is like definitely Scorpio. I'm getting that energy. Okay. 
And definitely this is like whilst traveling in public or traveling to work. This could be, yeah, yeah, definitely getting that. This could also be whilst you traveling to see family members. Okay, and um, we got the Ace of Swords. Um, telling us about who this person is. Okay, but I'm getting like this is somebody you don't know. Okay, this is somebody you don't know. Okay, but yet there is somewhat an air um, familiarity. This could be maybe you've seen them um, about in your community, but you know, you never really talk to them. So that can be what that is. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm getting you don't know this person. Or this person could be um, familiar or acquainted with um, a friend of yours okay so there could be a mutual you know connection there I'm getting also because like it's like a lot of new relationships are coming into you know fruition um, and it's because a lot of relationships are coming to an end so I'm feeling like this could be, you know, happening whilst, you know, uh, somebody is getting divorced from their spouse, okay? Somebody separated from their spouse, they're getting a divorce. This could happen, you know, whilst, you know, um, yeah, so somebody could be separated from someone here, divorced, leaving home, you know, relocating. Or somebody um, is helping somebody here out with housing. Okay. Um, you got the seven of wands, star, find the eight of swords. Um, also, I was also getting, was I getting as well? Yeah, so you could have, you know, actually, you could actually meet this person while I was walking in your community. Okay. And we got the five of swords, seven of wands. Okay, that's like a confirmation. Okay. About the walk thing. So, Ace of Swords, Seven of Wands, Five of Swords. Yeah, so I am getting strongly. You don't know this person, but you've seen this person before. Maybe you only communicated with them once ever. Okay. Somebody could be, you know, um, in the public here, or they could be a musician, or somebody could work on stage, or they do something where they get a lot of attention, um, a performer or something, and um, somebody likes that. Like, yeah, you, like you've seen them online before, you've seen them somewhere before. But I'm also getting like somebody, though they may know somebody here, or if this is somebody you completely, completely don't know, like maybe you've seen them but you've never spoken to them. This is like somebody you don't realize that they are, um, they do something in the public, they're a performer of some side, uh, of, of, of some sort, they are a um, site, okay? They could be the owner of some site some website they could have their own website okay they could do their this could actually be um the overseer or the 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 top gun man you know the top the top man you know for a construction site okay or a construction company construction company okay that could be it but like somebody here works in the public somebody they do something um like they are a performer, I'm getting strongly, um, they work on stage, I'm getting like somebody though is, um, yeah, so somebody here is famous, you may not know that this person, they are famous, okay, 
you may not know that this person they're a doctor or an astrologer or this could be you know you may not know that this person is homeless when you meet them you're not gonna know that they're homeless that too okay um again like somebody they hide their welfare or they are very discreet in regards to what it is they do so they're a loner loner kind of person they don't reveal their hands okay um somebody is very beautiful and youthful male or female um very eccentric looking okay this person they stand out they are really beautiful you know but they've got a very eccentric kind of beauty um someone is a bit soft around the edges i i'm, I'm getting like very feminine so even if or not you know if this is a male he is really cute and adorable that those are the words that comes to mind somebody they also come off a bit detached and aloof but this person they are this person they are very exciting I'm getting um, this person they hide a lot too from the public um, this person they may have children unbeknownst to you also um, this person could be sad or depressed or something or this person they are very layered they're very oh secretive they're very secretive that, that's what it is they're very secretive you cannot really pinpoint um they just show a certain aspect of them and no more they are very secretive and so what are their morals and values you don't you can't tell with this person because they they are very discreet and secretive okay this person too they are yeah i'm just still getting that they're just very mysterious and that could be you know what's attracting somebody here okay that seems to be attracting somebody here somebody's miss you know uh somebody what's the word i want to use um <laughs> somebody's the word is there just playing around in my head like it's um, hopscotching like are you are you serious let me use you I want to use you really deep oh mysticism that's the word I think that's the word I want to find um this person they drip mysticism they're very mysterious very i'm getting like this person they find you attractive you don't know that I'm getting also like you know that like this could be somebody you hide and watch for some of you I'm getting like you know that this person is sad I'm getting like somebody could actually hide and watch somebody here and somebody could um be, you know thinking about somebody you know unbeknownst to this person okay so we're looking at scorpio season of course this could also go over into sad not really getting any indication of that yeah actually i am yeah 
So by now, Scorpio season, and of course, Sag. I'm not getting any other, any other uh, dates for you. I'm getting like you're very indecisive about approaching this person, but you're watching them nonetheless. So somebody is very either you're you feel intimidated by this person, but I feel like somebody's just watching this person. hide and watch this person you watch them when they're in public you because like well that's the only time you can get to watch them though can you but you hide you hide that you watch this person or vice versa but I'm more getting strongly that you're watching them you know yeah this could be actually them watching you as well there's that six of wands in reverse <laughs> This person, they had, they're, they're very passionate, very sexy and attractive, you know, but they, you know, they hide a lot of their passions, so you don't really know what they dig. I was getting that before. They focus on themselves. And very secretive. They don't talk to people. This person, they don't talk to people, man. Or this is you, you don't talk to people. Somebody here don't like attention. So this could be them, they don't like attention. They like to hide from the public. Um, when they do go out, it's to do business and they're, you know, back in a jiffy. So this could be somebody who works at home. This could be like somebody who's got, like you said, they got their own website, they got their own business, their own online platform. Yeah. And, and yeah, and this person, they, this is somebody who also ages beautiful, beautifully. This is somebody who, you know, um, seemingly keeps going through a rough time. You know, um, this is somebody who, um recently this could have been somebody who recently lost something you know um there was a tower moment in this person's life whether this was a relationship that recently came to an end or a job and they're really feeling down okay now you could be just visiting and you meet this person but you could, you know, come from a whole different state or, you know, county or parish, you know, or even country. And you're just vis visiting. Yeah, somebody here really don't like attention, okay? They, you know, pretty much stick to what the evil they know. Yeah, they focus on themselves. Focus on themselves. Nine of Wands in reverse. Focus on themselves. King of Pentacles. And, you know, they got a clean reputation. They could also, like you said, be a CEO, own their own business, and so on and so forth. Okay? Three of Swords. Now, Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Like, this person, they don't like the justice system. Okay? Uh, somebody here, they talk about inequality um, amongst the races this could be in regards to you know wealthy corporate 500 companies you know wealthy people this person they they don't like wealthy people in the sense of which you know they they they, they speak out against them this could also be an activist of some kind. They speak out against inequality. This could be in regards to the police system, you know, um, the judiciary systems, 
legislative systems and this could be you know you know on an international scale okay but i'm also like i'm like i'm getting you know, something recently ended in this person's life okay now this could be marriage like i said okay Or a living arrangement, I'm getting clear audiently. This person could live, you know, around toxic people. They have it really hard, okay? Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, okay? They really have it hard. Okay, they could you know, live amongst very toxic, dysfunctional people, corrupt energies, corrupt spaces, a very unclean place. Um, yeah. But somebody is very strong and disciplined here. Somebody, you know, is really beautiful. Okay, and like I said, they come off as really conventional. Or somebody's really handsome here. They come off really conventional, but this person, like I said, they hide a lot. Um, they have a beautiful voice, you know, but they hide a lot, okay? This person could live with their children, okay, or their child, okay? But this person, they, they, they hide a lot, okay? Um, they may hide their children, uh, could be, but, you know, this person also loves children, okay? I'm getting that strongly. Somebody is also very hermitist, just very private, like I said, okay? I'm getting also hardworking, uh, very gifted, you know? This person, they could do a job that involves them, you know, um, being beautiful or, you know, dealing with the public or, you know, um, working in the public. Um, they love to help this person they also um have a beautiful and fair way of thinking okay six of swords this person they are you know just really um thoughtful okay energies that i got for you scorpio um sun and libra Um, <clears throat> Venus and Cancer, Venus and Sag. This this person also um could have Moon and Virgo. Jupiter and Aquarius, of course, you know. You could meet them around October 18 or after. Okay, so like October, November, yeah, and possibly uh, mid to mid December, okay? I feel like somebody's gonna like establish something here with this person okay also this person they could be a model okay yeah I do see that yeah this person they could be a model or a musician like I said earlier see something else just gonna throw in some more information there <clears throat> yeah
Yeah, so I said, I said this person, they are a loner. Also, um, a blogger, um, a model, like you said, could also be, um, a news reporter, but also, um, more like a model, blogger, um, an activist. A stay-at-home parent, I did say humanitarian, a humanitarian and activist. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave it there for you, Scorpio. No lie, also this could be a gold digger. I'm just saying, it's the truth. Okay. Possibly. Not all of you guys. Just I feel messed up for saying that. But yeah, just really, you know, just approach situation. Approach situation with, you know, um, oh, maybe I was just, this is that cold thing I was drink, drinking. I just feel my voice like, ha. Ah. But yeah, pretty much um, approach it with an open mind. No mistake.